Okay, welcome to the, the new day. We're back at it again. Starting to, well, actually I'm almost done stripping off the uh, the binding. It's a little bit of a hammer and a jeweler screwdriver seems to be popping it off for the most part. And uh, a rough, rough rounding of the edges here with the, the Shinto to get it to, to the shape. So we're getting there. We're going to get the, the front rounded off and then match the back to it. And then I can start doing the uh, the grain filling. And then this weekend I'm going to pick up some sealer and get her sealed. And then we can start priming and painting. So it's a quick update of where we're at. And we'll add this to the next clip. Okay, quick update before I go in the house and call the night. Got all the binding off. Got a preliminary carve going all the way around it. And here we're starting to do the finish the finish carving and sanding and shaping. It's all by hand. Ain't no router bits here yet. <laughs> we're getting there. I'm gonna do the same thing and match the match the bevel to the back. And then we're on to uh, filling and priming and painting. Think your workshop's smoking? Hundred and ten in the shade. Alright, let's do a quick update of where we're at before all this rain gets too bad and it gets too damp out here but we're getting down to all the the finishing stuff the only thing left to do right now is is I have to make that piece in there got all the edges are rounded off Gotta do some do some finish sanding. But yeah, I think that looks a bajillion percent better. Got some two little spots in there that need to be filled. But that lock turned out pretty damn good, I think. Got a little bit of a carve in there. So, it's really comfortable in your hand. You can get pretty much anything you want. And then if you want to wedge your thumb in there, for, you can pretty much cover everything from that spot there. If you're one of those over the top people, that just sits right in your palm so so nice. But there it be. Almost to the point where we can get some sealer on it and get ready to prime and paint it. I said just gotta fill that in and, and fit that piece and then We'll do the grain fill and fill in all the little dings and dents and holes and stuff. Sand all that down for the fish sand. And we're going to do the sealer. But for now, <laughs> it's a tad bit wet out in the shop. <laughs> we're going to call it a day here. And I was going to walk up and get the sealer, but that ain't happening. <laughs> anyway. All right, here it is. We finally got to the point where I'm going to glue this this piece in okay. so what I decided to do that edge was pretty raggedy along here and it was super super close instead of fiddling with it I widened it out a little bit and uh, spent the last hour carving that out and that fits in there we're going to glue that in and then uh, I'm going to go mix some sealer or um, some grain fill and I'm going to Green fill the top here 
let that dry while that's drying and tomorrow I'll bring Phil back and go pick up some sealer. <laughs>